Hi, I'm Ted with Everything Attachments, and we're here with our Wicked Bucket, and we're here in front of our what's going to be our Wicked Bucket building. We're just having some problems getting our uh, CO through our contractor and so forth, but we'll eventually be in this, have a lot more people working here, because this is just this is the smallest bucket we make, and we plan on making really big ones. We've got our big 1500 press bake ready to be making the really big buckets it's just a matter of time it's a new year we're hoping for a great year hope all y'all are having a good year uh, but we want to point out a few things that are just simply make this different one thing everything but the bolts in this bucket are, is is purely made of hard ox you can always i wish this bucket we tried to find a bucket that hadn't gotten painted yet but now that we've switched to all black painting's really working a whole lot better so we couldn't even find a bucket that wasn't painted as you can see the hard ox has always got that red primer on it and it makes that beautiful edge because the material's so consistent and so this is a 3 8 cutting edge similar to this beveled on one side that's welded in and we even go to the trouble to weld around the bolts and make everything where you've got a really good surface area and then you're able to bolt on whether you pick the wicked tooth bar or the smooth edge and we're familiar with the other tooth bars that are out there and some some for and we're going to start making that type of tooth bar with all beveled edges with our new plasma since it has a 3d head on it but what, so there's two, two different reasons why you would want smooth beveled edges or this. In general, for 90% of everything I do, I definitely want this kind of tooth bar because these front edges will definitely help you get under hard pan dirt and stuff. No question about it. That if all you want to do is go under turf, you can't hardly get under it with just a smooth edge. These definitely help. If this is beveled, if all you were doing it is turf, this being beveled would actually help you. But if you want to do saplings and all that type of stuff, all these ouch, all these ridges and stuff really help you grab a hold of all those small uh, saplings, debris and stuff, and pull them out. So for clearing and all, there, there's absolutely no comparison because you don't necessarily want to be cutting off everything just because you have a sharp edge and leaving it there to puncture your tire or not being able to pull up the root ball. So we think the Wicked Tooth Bar for general use is just absolutely the best. We will be offering the other later. later. <clears throat> Since you've got the holes, it makes it a really easy function. If you're going to do a lot of snow scraping and stuff like that, buy both of them at the same time if you need to. It's not that much more expensive. Snow really does wear on edges, and that's where this hard ox is going to help not wear. But when it does, it's simple as changing it with a few bolts. So that helps out there. So even if you were just looking at buying a Wicked Tooth Bar for the bucket that you already have, the, the, the one thing I'd like to stress while I've got a chance is by putting these bolts in instead of just putting it on the side, especially if you've got a, a, lo a wider bucket and a higher horsepower, as you bolt this down, it's almost like welding it. It starts giving your bucket a whole lot more strength and it will keep your lip from your original bucket, which is not near as strong as this hard ox, from getting a permanent bow in it. Um, so that's that's a really big help. And so a lot of people I see we sell the quick the aftermarket quick attaches and and that seems perfectly normal when the tractor's 15 or 20 years old when the quick attach was coming around kinda but it's really a shame to see these people that have a one-year-old or a brand new tractor or a five-year-old tractor where the dealer really did a disservice to the customer by even letting him buy a bucket and a tractor that was not a quick attach and the only reason that happened is because the dealer already had the bucket that wasn't quick attached and you were the first one he could get rid of it to. So make sure you get a quick attach when you're getting your tractor. Um, and then what I would tell you is tell, tell your dealer to leave, his, leave the bucket there because anybody's bucket now and they're making them cheaper every day for all the brands. All of this area here in every bucket pretty much I've seen, our, all our Kubota buckets, all of this area right here, because they're using mild steel, is being, this area is being used up to strengthen the bucket. 
but we don't have to do that. So instead of wasting this space for not doing anything but keeping it from bending easy, which it will still bend easier than this one, when you heap this bucket, it lets you do two things. It's got a lot more volume because I'm not taking up room just to make my bucket strong. And when you do roll it back, this kind of works like a cup and it'll roll your pile back up against this as you roll it way back instead of on the hood of your tractor. So there's a ton of advantages that our Wicked Bucket has over a factory bucket. And factory buckets are getting worse every day. Um, we've also included it where you can add the Diga hydraulic drive. It's got the proper spacing for that. It's got the proper spacing for different tooth bars here. It's got the Ken's bolt-on hook. Um, four bolt pattern here for the receiver hitch or the chain or uh, strap hooks. It's got them here in the middle and on the sides. If you're gonna really be lifting heavy stuff, I recommend Ken's uh, hooks to be on both sides where you can straddle what you're trying to hook up. Um, and just throw this down. These buckets are a lot lighter than your factory bucket, even though they're a lot stronger. So I'm able to move this around with no problem. So we want these buckets to be light, but this metal's so strong, we just don't have to use near as much of it. This is actually eighth of an inch is all this is. And we tried this on my SVL 95 uh, Kubota skid steer. And actually we were trying it where I'm standing. Moved a lot of dirt all day with it held up perfectly and, and that's not what you should be using on but it did hold up uh, it's braced underneath here this is wrapped completely around the bucket to make everything really strong got nice beautiful EA welds on it um, you know this is quick attach we do also offer it for the John Deere hitch um, so th the best thing you can do for any new tractor buyer just somehow talk your dealer the way you would really do it is ask if you see if you can get an itemized uh, your loader and bucket separately because he probably will be a little higher on the bucket than normal. So if it's a $900 or a $1,200 bucket that you're buying with your loader, ask him to, de to deduct that same amount and just not take the bucket. We're keeping these in stock now, so you'll be able to use your new tractor just as quick as you order your bucket, so you won't be waiting. And as soon as we get this big wicked bucket building open, everything is just gonna get wicked and bigger around here. Um, this is uh, our second week of working 10 hour shifts. This is Thursday, this is the same as our Friday, and everybody in here is already happy. So. I'm going to say happy weekend for everybody already on Thursday and uh, come see us at Everything Attachments. Give us a call. We'll be here for you. We're an American company. We're going to stay that way, family owned, and we'll be here for you all the time.